very recognizable face in world football. Uh, somebody who really needs no introduction, but I'll give one anyway, Mr. Asin Venga. We also have a former Indian international and uh, the current president of the All India Football Federation. I see that uh, football is popular in India, despite the defeat last night. But uh, when you have a long-term vision, it helps to focus on uh, the future. And uh, that's what we are here for. Uh, I came here with my team and uh, of competent people who, and we have only one target is uh, to make of India a great football nation. And uh, until now, uh, having met the president and the vice president, I believe that uh, we are all on board, you know, and uh, we all have the same target. Uh, I'm here a little bit to explain what we see on our side, and uh, I'm here as well to learn uh, a lot from you to what is uh, the strengths and the weakness of Indian football. And together, uh, we can, of course, achieve something big. And uh, I believe in a relatively short time. If you're interested, we can give you our vision. And, uh, but I'm very much interested as well in your vision and your idea of development of a game. Fantastic. Um, yesterday, the academy was uh, inaugurated. Um, what are the main targets and goals of the academy? And this is a question for both uh, Mr. Wenger and Mr. Chobe. Well, it is uh, basically to maximize the potential of India and of every country in the world. That's why it's my, it is my job. I ask you one question. Uh, you take three boys. One born in Mumbai, for example. One born in Sao Paulo and one born in Paris. Is, after one day, a difference between the three, football-wise? No. Is, after one year, a difference between the three? No. If, after 15 years, is a difference on the quality of the players, personally, I would say yes. And if I ask you if, after 20 years, is a difference between the quality of the three players, I would say yes. And that is only down, in our opinion, not because when you're French, you're a better football player born, just because you've got the education that is needed to develop a football player. And that's the only reason. And that's what we analyzed in the game. It is uh, the differences between the country is linked with the quality of the education. And that's why we are here. And that's what uh, the, acad the academies want to achieve, is to wipe out that difference by the quality of the education. Absolutely. Very, very exciting times. Uh, Mr. Chobe, would you like to elaborate on that? No, I think uh, let Mr. Arsen speak. I mean, you know, here. Yeah, so I think it is really good what he said and will be very, <coughs> I would say this is very important time we are here in Indian football today, and we definitely can hope that Indian football can, on its merit, do well in world football level. I, I have also mentioned it yesterday, how Arsene said just now, that everyone asks, it's a very commonly asked question, when India will qualify for FIFA World Cup? So instead of trying for qualifying in FIFA World Cup senior level, if we can focus, when can we qualify for under-17 FIFA World Cup? That definitely help us to reach our target to qualify in senior FIFA World Cup. And also, I'm sure uh, you'd be glad to know that uh, FIFA has decided to host under-17 World Cup every year. So that means the every, every players, they are getting chance to play under 17. So if we, can, if we can focus to qualify in under 17 World Cup, if it is make it three years from now, five years from now, the, the f first, first one or the second one, I think thereafter we can say that football, the way Arsene said, the child born in Mumbai and can get a equal education if he was born in 
Paris on Sao Paulo. So this is our focus that we want to make India a place where the basic education for football is at par at the global standard. Then only we can uh, dream high and we can become, uh, I think, top 50 or top 70 nation of football playing countries. Fantastic. We have a jam-packed uh, room here today, which is very, very extensive experience globally. What do you think will be some unique challenges, some unique opportunities in shaping the football landscape in India? The challenges in India are very simple. Is uh, First of all, we, you need to better identification of talent inside the country. It starts with that, you know. Our, our program is called Every Talent a Chance. I must say, I am convinced in India, not every talent gets a chance. The second uh, important part from us is we are convinced you have to put the best with the best together, you know, because that is a stimulation and football is learned uh, with difficulties that you experience when you play against good players. And uh, we are, want to identify the talent. We want to, of course, put the best with the best. We want to give them good coaching and we want to give them as well quality of a competition. And after, the final step is to integrate them in a first team. And uh, this is uh, something that we have to do, to do together. We are here to help. And uh, we do not want anything. We just want to give what we learn from all the countries in the world. And we have learned by analyzing football in the world, we have realized that the top-ranked countries in the world are just the countries who have a better system of education. It's as simple as that. It's a huge correlation, basically 100% correlation, between quality of, quality of education and results of the first team. And uh, so we can only give what we see, and what we see is evident, is obvious, you know. And uh, for us it's easy because we have a landscape of the world. And uh, we're just here to say, look, that's what's happening in the world. That's what you have to do. We are here to help. And uh, that's why uh, in the last three days we spoke a lot about the problems on both sides and how we can help you. I personally feel there's a cooperation here. But ideally we have opened an academy. I must tell you as well, ideally you want 40 academies. You know, and nobody from north to south, from east to west, can escape with a talent and is not detected. Of course, maybe we might have slowly to compromise <coughs> to find the most efficient solution, but uh, we, uh, we have to see how we can do that, and uh, that's why we need, uh, I think, the cooperation of everybody who has uh, uh, potential here, it's from the states, from uh, the AIFF, it is as well uh, from anybody, big sponsors who want to develop football, and uh, that's why it's difficult, but I must say as well from us, it's very exciting and very interesting. When I, I, I see the, the audience on television in India about the game, but unfortunately it's not the Indian game, it's the European games, you know. And uh, that means the love for the game is there. But people want to watch quality. So we have, we have to produce quality. Today, what has changed in the last uh, 20 years, people have access to the top level games in the world. They sit at home, push on the television button, and they get what they want. So we want to give them what is locally. And to do that, uh, people are not stupid, they are intelligent, and they can compare. And uh, so we have to, to do something together to develop the potential of a country. 20% of the world population. No, <laughs> it's, it's so obvious and uh, so easy to see what is, has to be done. But uh, we know what we have to do, and now we have to do it. 
Okay. Uh, before I come to you, just just a follow up question to the one that was asked. Uh, yes, because uh, I uh, believe that uh, sport is to do in football, especially, is to do with your feet what your brain wants. And uh, uh, I still want to play, but my feet don't listen to me anymore. So uh, what we what we want what we want to do is to educate people at a very young age because you you cannot learn to play football at 15 years of age you know you need to kick the ball at four five we have videos at, at fifa where we see girls and boys at five six years old amazing you know so you have to start well early and uh, we come in at the age of 12 to uh, finish the education at 16 at, at around 15, you start to specialize, specialize in the position defender, midfielder, striker, and you go into more into competition. But we have to equip the player before the age of 16 to be as perfect as possible technically, and as well develop his singularity to see what makes this girl or boy strong and develop it. We have seen last night, uh, we do not want every player to look like the next one. We want as well to develop who he is, what he has to express. And uh, that demands competence. And uh, that's why I brought with me a team who has that experience. Say, we know and you don't know. You know we want to, to do see, find solutions together. We have a good image of what world football is about because we, we penetrate inside every country. And I believe as well that uh, India is booming economically and uh, it is a great opportunity to get everybody on board and try to do really something, not half. I prefer not to do anything, but do it really. And uh, that's why we have to find a solution that is uh, really uh, efficient and to be honest uh, you know as well for me today in the last 30 years India is ranked about hundreds country in the world sometimes worse but very rarely better is this the real place for India no so what do we do about it that's the question I ask you <laughs> and uh, that's where we have to find uh, an answer together. And uh, I lived a long time in competitive football. You can talk and talk. At the end, you have to do. You have to show that you win, you win or lose on Saturday, you know. And uh, that's what we have to do. We have to win together. Would there be any tangible and time-bound goals that you are setting up for this venture? How many years? You see, uh, this is the basic... Uh, Time is, let's say, this uh, tenure of this, of this agreement is two years. But again, we will jointly monitor what we are doing and where are the you know, improvement required and what need to be done. So definitely, if we, if we talk about youth development, grassroots, grassroots development, it cannot be a short term or shortcut way to find a success. So therefore, it has to come with a long-term plan. But let, let us hope in five years' time or three years' time, at least we, we can uh, get the foundation, as, as Arsen uh, is saying, that education, football education. So in the my, basics. Uh, sorry. In my experience, the schools, football in schools is great. They are not equipped by the quality of the coaches to compete at the specialized football players. They can contribute. They, in uh, all the examples I've seen, when the Federation does not organize the education of the discipline, it doesn't work at the top, top level. The schools are not enough. They can contribute. They can be a side help to strengthen our system. But it has to start from the Federation and the clubs. And uh, all the examples I've seen in Europe worked only when the Federation took charge of the, the education. We understand this is your first visit to get your frank assessment of the difference in level that currently exists. And there was one more player, uh, Nicholas Anelka, who spent two seasons here, who you signed, uh, I believe, for 500,000 back in the day. Yes. Uh, uh, many of my good players came here. 
uh, Robert Pires. I, I met him uh, just before coming here and I asked him, tell me how are the Indian players? He said to me they are quite good, but uh, they are, don't know well the discipline of a tactical discipline of a team. So uh, I would say, uh, honestly, yesterday I, I feel that uh, the Indian uh, team didn't perform well and that Qatar had a deserved win. And uh, it reinforced my desire to change things in India, you know, because I, uh, when you think uh, you had the 11 best players out and Qatar was, what you all have seen, the best team by a good distance, comfortably. And uh, that's what uh, you want to change. We're going to see this academy starting and those who maybe in 20 years time could be propelling us to qualify for a FIFA World Cup. A message for them. Well, a message, just encouragement, you know, to play, love. Uh, uh, it's just, it's not only to become professional football player. Uh, there's a small percentage who becomes professional football player. But it's fun. It's uh, share, play with friends. Uh, it makes friends. Uh, you learn social life. You uh, have fun. You never forget uh, the strengths of the game. I, I believe really we are here because I personally believe that we can change the world. The advantage of football, I can play with an Indian tomorrow and share positive feeling because we see the sa in football in the same way. I can play with uh, anybody from the world. You don't need to speak the language to have pleasure to play together. And that's why I believe that uh, just enjoy, have fun, express yourself. And uh, if you love it passionately, if you have luck to be uh, gifted, uh, to use well your body, because you're not all equally in front of that, uh, just enjoy it. And after, uh, what we want to do is people have a special talent to identify them. But at the start, you need an opportunity to play. And then you need an opportunity to be you need always, in life it's always the same, you need a good attitude and at some stage somebody you meet who gives you a chance. Mm. So to kids, just let's play some stage. If you're talented, somebody will notice that and give you a chance. Brilliant. I think that answer kind of sums up why we call it the beautiful game. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Mr. Wenger and uh, Mr. Chobe and Mr. Harris. Match uh, se aapke har sawal ka. हम देंगे जवाब जानने के लिए हर अपडेट लाइव एनालिसिस स्पेशल इंटरव्यूज डाउनलोड कीजिए स्पोर्ट्स द कैप